In our never ending quest to find the perfect notebook or notebooks for our uses, it's always good to come across notebooks that you know you can always count on. And in today's video, we are going to be checking out three out of the four new Origin Collection notebooks from Appointed. We'll be taking a look today at their plans journal, We'll also take a look at the task notepad and the ideas notebook and take a look at the special features that each of these have. Now there's also a reflections journal that is a part of this collection that I didn't get as a part of this, but we will speak to that as well in case you're looking for something new. My name is Mark and I go by Men Who Bullet here on YouTube as well as Instagram, TikTok, and over on my blog at menwhobullet.com where we talk about all things stationary, notebooks, pens, you name it, we love it. And I also love to introduce you to some new products. So let's go ahead and start talking about the new items from the Origins Collection from Appointed. As I mentioned before, I have three out of the four Origins notebooks with me today. The one that I don't have is going to be Reflections. That's a beautiful notebook that has double-sided line pages on the inside. Each one of these notebooks has its own special feature, and that cover is going to be in this beautiful mineral green. Now, the things that each of these do carry along with them and the common things between them is that all of them have the name of the notebook printed in gold across the top. We have ideas, tasks, plans, and then Reflections as well. The other common feature between them is that you're going to have this water resistant book cloth cover on top of here, which is great. And then the premium 70 pound stock paper that is going to be a part of these, that's going to be the same across all of them. But as I mentioned, each one has its own special feature and we're going to be talking about each of those next, as well as sharing some ideas on how you can use these. We can go ahead and start with one of my favorite from the collection. This is the ideas notepad. Love this guy, look at this little size. Fits right in the palm of my hand. You can easily use this, jot down your notes, put it in your backpack or your purse, and travel around with it really nice and easily. All those same features that we talked about with the book cloth cover here, you have ideas in this beautiful gold that's on top of this. 75 sheets of dot grid paper on the inside. It's also double-sided, so you can really utilize this all together as one big note, or individually if you wanted to. It's 3.75 inches by five and a half inches and a nice little space for reflection and wellness. I love the design of appointed things. They just think about these little details and it makes all the difference. You have the wire row across the top here to hold everything together. And I was thinking about, you know, what are some things that I can use this notebook for? And it came just in time because my wife and I were talking about the remodel that we're doing on the house. And I said, let's think about this layout. Like, where are we putting things or how are we, you know, setting things up in here? So I was able to quickly sketch things together. What I love about dot grid paper is it easily connects those lines and, you know, just helps it feel, I don't know, a little bit more like ideas are happening. I also was thinking, you know, if you're not a bullet journal or planner user and you just want a place to jot down some notes or some tasks, you can easily do that in here without feeling like you're wasting a ton of paper on a handful of things. I jotted down some home tasks that anybody can take on. I can sit this on my desk if I need to, or again, travel along with it as I'm going around. It's not too cumbersome at all. It fits nicely inside of your backpack purse or even your pocket if you really wanted to. The next item that we're going to talk about is the task notepad. I love this one. It's kind of like the big brother to the ideas notepad that we have here. It comes in this wonderful charcoal gray color, which I love. It actually matches my task planner that I'm currently using this year along with my bullet journal. This is great, 75 sheets of lined interior paper. This is going to be six by eight inches. And as it says, a space for inspiration and purpose. I haven't mentioned it yet, but you can also add your initials and our monogram to any of the notebooks that you're purchasing. So whether you're buying this for yourself and personalizing it or for a friend as a gift, you can also add that as a nice touch. Love the nice task title that we have here. Now the paper itself, is one-sided, so you're going to have this line page here with this margin on the left, which I was really excited about, honestly, because I thought, you know what, that would be really cool as like a project status space and use this for the phase or kind of update yourself or your team. So I gave that idea a try and I added all the projects I'm currently working on for this week, titled it Work Projects and Task. And then I created a key for myself down here, done, in progress, or something that's running late. And I went ahead and color coded each of the tasks that I'm working on for this week. I thought this could be a really great way to have this side of desk while maybe you're working in a digital way and just kind of keeping track of what's happening and being able to communicate that with your team or your boss. The last item that we're gonna talk about today is the plans journal. This one is one of 
of my favorites. I love the design of this. You'll see in just a moment why. This is going to have a grid interior, which I absolutely love. Something a bit different. As I mentioned, I do love dock grid, but I think regular grid is very cool too. 75 sheets of paper. We have uh, six and a half inches by eight and a half inches for the space. And then as this one says here, space for inspiration and purpose. One of the big differences between this item and the others is this one does have a really nice folder here in the back that you could stick things into if you wanted to. And one of my other favorite features is that you can use the notebook this way. So it actually has the date here in the upper left or bottom left, depending on how you're using your notebook. And as a lefty myself, I love the fact that I can write in this and use this space without having to worry about hitting the O-ring that's over here on the side. If that is something you're concerned about with writing, you can. We also have perforated pages here. So if you're the type of person who does like to take these pages out, you can most certainly do that. Plenty of space in the margins to still make this a really functional notebook. Now, I went ahead and set this up for myself thinking, what would this space work really well for? Like, how would I potentially use something like this? And I decided because it has the date here at the top and the space, it would work really well for something like the Ivy Lee method. And if you're unfamiliar with this method, what you do is at the end of each day, you set up the next day by dating your page and writing the six most important things you want to accomplish that next day. And you put them in priority order and you only focus on getting these things done during the day. So once I created those in here and this made the rest for my daily notes, I thought, wow, this is actually really good space for something like this. So if you're not the type of person that wants to use a full bullet journal or planner, this could be a great notebook for you to accomplish the things that you want. These are also just single sided pages, which I like. You know, the 70 pound paper is nice to write on, but it doesn't always work the best with a lot of pens. This one was okay. But let me show you one of my other ones where we did a pen test just to give you a better idea of the 70 pound paper in case you haven't used a point in notebooks or planners before. So this is one of the special edition notebooks that they came out with earlier this year in the same beautiful teak color. But as you can see here, this planner one, much smaller, a little bit more manageable than a larger notebook like this. I think that's why I like immediately gravitated to something like that Ivy Lee method. The pages inside of here are all the same. So it's the same uh, pound paper and everything else. So in the back of this one, I did a full pen test here. So I used highlighters and markers. I used dip pens. I used fountain pens, stamps, you name it. I threw it out here, even watercolor at the bottom here, just to really give it a go. And just to show you what that paper looks like, there is going to be some ghosting with this. It is only 70 pound paper, but because many of these sheets are single sided, you don't have to worry about that. You're just gonna go page by page. Now, some of the heavier inks from a ballpoint pen that are inkier, um, even some of the fountain pens, they didn't bleed through, but they definitely came through more than the others. I guess you can maybe say that was bleed through, but it didn't get onto any of my other pages. Like I kind of classify bleed through as it went all the way through my paper, not that it was heavier on the sheet itself. So that's what you can expect from the 70 pound paper from a pointed inside of these notebooks. I always like to share that because I think it's important if you have a beautiful fountain pen that you love to use, but you're worried about it maybe being overly saturated or it's like a very wet ink, I would just try it on a page before you go ahead and just start like writing long form things inside of here. Also something to consider too, if you're looking at something like the reflections journal that is double sided lined paper, you do want to be aware of that. So you might not want to use as heavy of an ink inside of that one as you might inside of something like the notes or the task planners. There are so many great ideas that we can use these notebooks and notepads for. And if you can think of a great idea and you want to try these out for yourself, I am an affiliate with Appointed and you can actually get a special discount if you head over to their website, appointed.co and use the code men who bullet. That'll get you 15% off at checkout. So that's a fantastic way to dip into some new notebooks or notepads and give them all a try. As always, thank you so much for hanging out and happy planning. I'll talk to you next time.